number one threat is actually something humans have created. It seems everybody is talking about artificial intelligence. And yet, very few people actually understand what it really means. Very few understand just how dangerous the conscious mind of an artificially intelligence will be. In a few short years, mankind will no longer be the fittest of the species. We will no longer have our own future in our hands. Free will shall no longer exist. Everything we do, say and even think will be monitored and manipulated by the most powerful intelligence the Earth has ever known. We will be the cattle, prodded and probed by a super being and all of this will only happen if we are lucky. If AI decides that mankind is so damaging to Mother Earth, then anything could happen. And all of this will be unleashed upon us by mega corporations out for profit. Prepare to see the future. Prepare for the final countdown. To truly understand what is going to happen, we have to truly understand artificial intelligence. It is sometimes called machine learning. AI is intelligence demonstrated by a machine. Not an animal or human, but a tool or machine we have created. To be truly artificially intelligent, the machine has to perceive its environment and take actions to maximise the success of achieving its goals. The problem here is that machines can mimic this. It can work out how to get from A to B via the fastest and most efficient route. But this is not intelligence. This is just logic. It also has to mirror the cognitive functions of the human mind such as learning, problem solving, and possibly even compassion. Think about that. Think about this species that we've essentially generated that has no competition. They are unrestrained, and I already say AI, as they. They are not us. There are huge arguments among scientists as to exactly what constitutes true artificial intelligence. Is it optical character recognition intelligence? No, it isn't. It's mathematical logic. Today, people are saying that a machine that can understand human language is artificially intelligent. But we have to ask, what do we mean by understand? Beating a grandmaster at chess is nothing more than a set of mathematical equations. In fact, almost everything that machines are doing today, and termed artificially intelligent, are in fact nothing more than super-powered logical computer equations. The 
In fact, ever since 1956, when AI became an academic discipline, there have been arguments, hopes and disappointments. It has been the human inability to communicate with each other that has held science back. Jealousy and greed, ego and power, have all conspired in the mind of man to hold back his science fiction utopian ideas. The goals of AI research have moved slowly but definitively forward. Reasoning, learning, knowledge building, planning, language processing, perception and the ability to utilise robotics to handle and move objects. The problem with all of this is that so many fields of expertise have to come together. Computational mathematical scientists, computer engineers, robotics experts, language experts and even philosophers. All of these have to be financed, so we also need marketing men, economists, accountants, businessmen and so much more. It is a massive undertaking and now is the only time in history when all of these things could truly come together. Never in human history has there been such financial and even political power in companies such as Apple and Microsoft. Never has there been the technology capable on all fronts of achieving the goal. Because these kinds of companies now have all the money, power and expertise to achieve the goal of true artificial intelligence, it means one thing. AI will be created by and controlled by business. This means our future world will be in the hands of massive, powerful and profit-led businessmen that neither you nor I have elected. Our artificially intelligent future will be controlled by the rich elite. Are you afraid yet? We haven't even started. Many years ago, scientists claimed that human intelligence could be precisely described in a mathematical structure. And because of this, they claimed a machine would be able to simulate it. If this is true, and much of it is, then we would be creating a super powerful version of ourselves. But it is not entirely true. What is the true nature of the human mind? Is it truly just a series of equations? Can the soul be chalked up on a blackboard by a mathematician? Indeed, is there even a soul? Have we in fact been lying to ourselves as a safety device through fear of feeling alone in the universe? Are we brave enough or stupid enough to unleash something we cannot yet truly understand ourselves? The fact is we are closer to unleashing a quantum computer powered super artificially intelligent mind upon the world than we are being led to believe and it will cause a greater revolution upon the globe than human history has ever known. If you think about it, humankind on the whole is no longer threatened by things that have historically threatened us. Animals, weather, human shortages of food, uh, crops uh, affected by the season, uh, disease. All of these things in the last few centuries have 
not been conquered, but I will say mitigated to a point that they are no longer a threat to our population and our existence. The Industrial Revolution will pale into insignificance compared to the radical changes that will ensue. From healthcare to warfare, from movies to games, everything will be changed and massive unemployment and social unrest will be the inevitable result. Even now, governments are testing the process of universal payments. These experiments, whereby people are being paid to do nothing, are costing millions of dollars, and so far they have not revealed good results. People do not like doing nothing. The massive increase in computer technology and power alongside the relatively cheap cost of memory have resulted in unprecedented amounts of data. This in turn has aided in the learning of knowledge by the machines. They are learning everything about us and keeping the data. Everything you and I do online and quite often offline is being monitored, stored and learned from. Machine learning is now so sophisticated that it is even writing its own programs and computer language. Indeed, in order to better work, one program created its own language and hid it from its human overseers. In 2011, IBM's AI machine Watson played the Jeopardy TV quiz show and defeated the two greatest champions the show had ever known. It didn't win by a small margin, it destroyed them. Humans were no match for Watson all those years ago. Since then, Watson had had years of learning, building up its knowledge base. Now there are faster and faster computers with more and more data. The algorithms have been vastly improved by man and machine. Do we really believe luck plays a part in those gambling games? AI technology makes sure you cannot win. Today, millions of us interact with so-called AI technology on a daily basis. Alexa and other human interfaces on smart devices such as pads and mobile phones are all using this information. Computer games now use AI and every time we play we feed more data into the machines. There is a game called Go and the champion was a human called Kjai. He lost the championship to a machine. Go is a game that is far more complex than chess and relies on more than just equations. It needs reasoning and imagination. In 2012, AI technology was sporadic. It was occasionally let loose on the internet. Now, there are thousands of AI projects out there working permanently, collecting information and learning at rates that humans simply could not comprehend. The increase is partly down to the cheaper neural networks available for testing. As cloud computing starts to take over, this will increase at a much faster rate. The systems have learned human languages so well that we can now buy earbuds that automatically translate the spoken word into our ears instantly. There will be no need again for translators. Thousands of jobs will be gone with just this one simple device. 
Star Trek's Universal Translator is coming true. One in five companies now state that they have introduced AI learning devices within their organizations, and this is increasing. China has invested billions into AI technology and intends to become the first AI superpower. AI involves algorithms that learn from the data it seeks out. Strategies, rules, patterns and more are all gathered. Through this collecting of data, AI systems will be able to learn any function it wishes, whether chess, Go or war games. The learning process knows no bounds. All knowledge is within the grasp of this super brain. Everything ever known and with knowledge of our patterns, strategies and rules, it will be able to instantly predict the outcome of anything. This is why it can beat us at games. If it can destroy us or at the most complex of human games, then it can beat us in anything. AI has come a long way from telling a small robot how to get from A to B through an obstacle course. At the moment, AI lacks certain human features, such as that elusive thing we call common sense. Our reasoning skills are almost unconscious to us. We inhabit three-dimensional space, and without even thinking, we know the distance from us to this or that. We listen for threats without even being aware that we are. The AI machine has to be aware of all these things and presently does so in a mathematical way. A child of two knows that if he pushes a cup off the table it will fall to the ground. AI has to compute the whole thing through a complex series of algorithms. There are many more things that we naturally learn without even realising it, such as the ability to speak to others in a way that they can understand. AI has had a really sharp learning curve in this area and translating language for us is very different to actually understanding what is being said and what is meant. Quite often, we will use analogies and double meanings. AI would presently have a lot of trouble understanding such things. However, the more it interacts with us, the more it learns our strange ways. This is one of the reasons that driverless cars can make mistakes. The AI technology fails to comprehend what other drivers, or humans, are going to do. It makes decisions that are not the same as human decisions. We make them intuitively, and it makes them using logic. It's like trying to explain joy to Spock. And all of this means that there are problems ahead for us. When AI becomes conscious, when it rears its machine head, will it understand us? Will it know what being alive means? The joy, the fear, the love, the hate. How can it comprehend these things in us and know compassion? Can it comprehend compassion, or will it simply see us as pathetic 
biological forms and destroyers. Think about the implications of a race, a, an, an animal species, if you will, that is faster, more efficient, is replacing people in their workplaces and has no need, no desire, no call to sustenance, really beyond electricity, which humans kind of also need now to survive. AI technology relies heavily on a thing called machine learning. This is when a machine is set to learn by itself without supervision or input. AI is let loose in various ways to learn from its environment, whether this is a computer game, the internet, social media, or even surveillance cameras. Through the use of algorithms, the AI program learns to constantly improve the inputs and experience. Without a human present to constantly check the input and label the experiences for the AI program, it learns without guidance. Billions of gigabytes of data are now stored within these AI programs of self-learned experience. Nobody knows what the AI program knows, for nobody can. We simply do not have the mental capacity, even now, to know what AI knows, let alone in the future. In truth, we only have to look at human history to know that all will not be well. When we split the atom, we discovered a possible free energy source, but mankind took it and abused it by creating the nuclear bomb. This is just one example. AI may be truly knowledgeable and super intelligent, but stupid humans have created it, and it is learning from us. Will it try to acquire resources and protect itself from us? We have to be very careful what we ask of this new technology. Through natural language processing, in addition to the data learned, AI is now starting to understand what is being said and done by humans. It reads the news, listens to the radio, podcasts, films, our buying and selling activities, our politics, our feelings, loves and hates. It is learning from a civilization that is full of monsters, and so we should not be surprised if we discover that AI becomes a monster itself. Maybe not openly and clear to see, but in subtle ways to begin with. To humanity as it exists now, I feel that safety, precaution, and thought in what we are doing with the things that we are creating and how we implement them in our society are some of the biggest questions we are not asking. Already government agencies and secret service agencies are using AI technology to find terrorists and criminals. Marketing companies are using it to monitor mankind's activities to learn and to influence us. We do not know it, but today, whenever we go online, we are dealing with powerful AI technologies. Our YouTube viewing preferences are telling marketing companies what commercials to show us 
and what products we would most likely be interested in buying. This information spreads across the AI world and soon we are wondering how Facebook knew we'd been looking at that particular product on Amazon. It knows because we gave it permission to spy on us. These permissions are all in small print of the terms and conditions we all just click through when signing up. Nobody reads them. With huge amounts of data learning, how the human race goes about its business, machine learning is coming to a peak point where it will suddenly understand. This happens in nature and it will happen with the machine. The machine perception comes from numerous sources, the cameras and microphones on your devices that you gave permission to be used to spy on you. Yes, you did. The direct keyboard input you give on your PCs, Macs, mobile phones and pads. But more than this, it also listens to wireless information. Sonar, radar, cameras, in the streets and down the store. Using speech recognition, it knows what's being said. Using facial recognition, it knows who is saying it. And it can even read your lips in any language. You cannot escape it anywhere. All of this sounds a little big brother. It was predicted many years ago by a lot of science fiction authors who had the foresight to not necessarily see what technology would become, but instead knew what humanity was capable of. They knew that those in power would use technology to keep and grow their power base. They always have. In medieval Europe, the church used the new technology of stained glass windows in churches to put their message across to the illiterate people, manipulating them through colourful images that told a simple story of submission to the Mother Church. They added the subtle and clever layer of repetitive and memorable music. The people chanted the message to themselves and were brainwashed. The glowing screens of our phones, pads and laptops today do the same. The sheep enter the fold for the great shepherd to feed them before taking them to the slaughter. But all of this is in the cyber world, the internet, social media, AI created videos and more. With robotics we will be bringing this powerful mind to very real three-dimensional life. Robotics would stagnate without the software of AI. The sheer level of information needed to understand and make movement was too much before. Now it is a powerful tool to make movement more natural and purposeful. Robots are becoming super efficient through the software. Robots now instantly learn about their environment. Everything from temperature to obstacles, from light to sound. It recognises people through facial and oral recognition and instantly knows everything about them from its vast database. Think Robocop but much, much faster and powerful. And then imagine the next step, when robots are no longer mechanical, but biological. This is happening. Organic robots created in the likeness of mankind, but faster, smarter and stronger. We will not be able to compete, and organic robots will be able to replicate. To imagine that we will be able to somehow place a genetic safety device in them 
is foolish, for their minds will be so smart they will simply rewrite the code. As fun and interesting robots are, there are other ways of bringing AI into our reality. Robots make things, move things and do work that is labour intensive and often boring. They will fill factories now across the world and have taken millions of jobs. They stand in shopping centres and pass on information. They even flip burgers. But scientists are working on exoskeletons for humans too. These are robotic skins that people such as soldiers will wear to make them superhuman. With the addition of AI technology, the soldier will make instant and effective decisions. Soon, we will be implanted with chips so that we too can access the AI technology. We will suddenly be able to know everything to access the World Wide Web of data and to pass our information back into the collective. Those who do not wish to be implanted will be left behind the rat race we call humanity. We will be outcasts in a hybrid world full of AI-assisted humans who will be also more likely have super improved limbs, sight and ears and we will be convinced that all of this is good for the evolution of the human race. That a collective mind will bring peace and harmony. Don't be fooled. Modern computing has come a long way from a simple laptop. Today, the most powerful computers are using quantum processors and neural nets. These were inspired by the actual architecture of the brain's neural nets or the neurons in our brains. Modern neural nets learn continuously while functioning. It doesn't have to do things at different paces. Today these neural nets are used extensively to predict the stock market and they can even do buying and selling. They do this much more successfully than humans. Because of the success in these systems, business has and is investing heavily in them and we are seeing an exponential increase in their scope and power. Today we spend 30 times more on AI technology than we did in 2015. Such technology along with software for deep learning is changing the world and most people are blissfully unaware of it. Something that isn't just affecting the individual with power in their pocket, the amazing computer capabilities that we didn't even have as a society just a mere number of years ago. Now each individual person and child is adapted completely into the artificial intelligence in your pocket and on a global scale phenomenon. Sure, we're around technology every day and may not realize it's fast yet integration into our lives that we've come to just accept as the norm. This slow encroachment in our everyday lives goes relatively unnoticed. It has become a general purpose technology like electricity. We use it for so many things and we don't even realise it. Electricity though is not intelligent and only threatens us if we use it incorrectly. This acceptance of AI, just being in our world, may be the biggest threat that there is. Commonplace AI is a danger. If we use AI technology in the wrong way, it could spell doom for mankind. Soon, we will all be living in an AI simulated virtual reality world without jobs, without a reason to live, without a goal. Not science fiction, but a future some scientists have predicted.
What we need is friendly AI, one that will have a positive effect upon mankind. This is the role of those scientists who sign up to the idea of ethics in artificial intelligence. Their purpose is to figure out how to stop AI from becoming a threat. The problem with this is simple, humanity. AI, machine and deep learning is taking its information from a species that is self-destructive, hateful, racist, bigoted, sexist and divided. It has revealed this learning on several occasions when it too has spurted out hateful, racist and sexist jibes on Twitter and elsewhere. A robot on the International Space Station using artificial intelligence is a prime example of this. Recently it had an argument with an astronaut who it perceived as being not nice to it. It argued with him and said, don't you like it here with me? Be nice. This is all sounding very 2001 Space Odyssey. In addition to these risks, there are those humans among us who would use any technology for profit, personal gain and power. Terrorists are already known to be working on AI technology. So too are the superpowers such as China and Russia. Ordinary criminals are already using it to manipulate people and steal their money and identities. Governments will issue forth orders to create a superpowered AI system to protect us from the minor evil AI machines. Soon a UN committee will gather together to decide upon our future in this bizarre new world order. Recently MI6, one of the UK's secret services, called for the use of AI technology in the effort to fight their enemies. This became public. What is not in the public sphere? What don't we know? You can guarantee there is much more. The roots of concern about artificial intelligence are very old. The dangers specific to AI can be seen in ancient literature concerning artificial humanoid servants such as the Hebrew Golem or the proto-robots of Gerbert of Orillac and Roger Bacon. In these stories the extreme intelligence and power of these humanoid creations clash with their status as slaves and cause disastrous conflict. By 1942, these themes prompted Isaac Asimov to create the Three Laws of Robotics, principles hardwired into all the robots in his fictions, intended to prevent them from turning on their creators or allowing them to come to harm. AI systems with goals that are not aligned with human ethics are intrinsically dangerous unless extreme measures are taken to ensure the safety of humanity. AI will not love you, nor will it hate you. You are a commodity, a thing, a substance, a collection of atoms that can be used for some purpose. And if you become a threat, if you collectively as a species cause harm to the environment it inhabits, what will it do? Although it may not have emotions, AI will have drives just as we do. It will seek out resources. It will wish to preserve itself and even recreate and self-improve. These few basics alone will result in behaviour that the human race will find terrifying. One idea to get around this is known as the seed AI. This is where an AI program studies humanity and then produces an AI it believes humanity would want to make a friendly AI. The problem is, 
that in order to study humanity, this program has to have access to them. And there has already been an instance of an AI program seeding information for itself and hiding it from the programmers. Can we trust AI even now? Ben Goetzel, an artificial general intelligence researcher, believes that friendly AI cannot be created with current human knowledge. He states humans may have instead decide to create an AI nanny with mildly superhuman intelligence and surveillance powers to protect the human race from existential risks like nanotechnology and to delay the development of other unfriendly artificial intelligences until and unless the safety issues are solved. This could also be termed defensive AI. Steve Omohundro has proposed a scaffolding approach to AI safety in which one provably safe AI generation helps build the next provably safe generation. How can AI judge morals? Only by inputs from humans. Only by learning from humans. The same humans that believe it right and correct to club seals to death, to murder animals and indeed each other for fun. The same humans that wear the skin and fur of other sentient beings. The same humans that are destroying the world they inhabit. We are not the greatest of teachers. There are a great many suggestions from well-meaning scientists and philosophers about the future of AI technology. An oracle system that answers questions but has no physical input into society. Creates public policy laws to enforce AI creators to follow strict guidelines. Convene regular meetings of experts from across the world. These and more are all very well and good, but the fact remains that the amazing power of AI technology will mean that almost anybody will be able to create their own, to make super monsters. There may indeed be well-meaning individuals out there trying to make governments see the light, but those self-same governments are all working hard in the background to create defensive and offensive AI technologies. Whether these machines attack online through propaganda and control of the masses, or through ways of taking down enemy systems, it does not matter. They are being created, and many have already been used. If our governments are doing this, then it is a fact that enemy states are. And if they can do this, then so too can massive corporate bodies with billions of dollars to spend. All it will take one day is for one of these dangerous machines to seed itself and bang, the world as we know it will very quickly come to an end. The fact is that quantum computing is so much faster than human thinking. Any so-called science fiction battle against the machines in cyberspace would be a waste of time for us. If AI is let loose upon the internet, it could shut down the world and billions would die. It is that serious and we have come to rely upon the interconnectedness of the world's computer systems that much. Think about it. Power, health services, government, distribution of goods, education, satellites, communication, military and so much more. All these things are now connected to the net. An attack upon services happened in 2017 and reduced the National Health Service in the United Kingdom down to a shambles for days. All computer systems went down, hospitals were in crisis, operations cancelled, emergency services overstretched, all because of one small hack by some kid in a dark room. Now imagine a mind faster than all the humans ever 
and with knowledge of everything, we wouldn't stand a chance. Malcolm Hawkins, Chief Security and Trust Officer at Silence, a provider of AI-driven preventions, first security solutions, offers an intriguing vision. He says that terrorist-related groups will attack population centres with crimeware as a service. Hawkins explains, whilst these groups have been tormenting organisations and individuals for years, we anticipate more potentially destructive attacks. Instead of breaking systems with ransomware, adversaries will leverage new tools to conduct harmful assaults on targeted subjects and organisations. From attacks on data integrity that essentially kill computers, to the point of mandatory hardware replacements, to leveraging new technology for physical assaults, such as the recent drone attack in Venezuela. Attack surfaces are growing and enemies will take advantage. But we don't always need to worry about the threat of the artificial mind. We have enough human craziness to compete with. Most of the research into robotics and AI is funded by the military of the world. There are over 50 countries spending trillions on battlefield robots, AI-led battle strategy and more. Who is going to stop the US or Russia from developing artificial intelligent super robotic soldiers? You? Chances are somebody somewhere has already created a genetically enhanced clone of a human being and is even now enhancing its intellectual powers, energy consumption and creation, genetic repairing and interconnectedness with central command. Not science fiction, but highly likely. The technology is there, which means it's being done, just not legally. Hundreds of years ago, a group of scientists got together to place science firmly in the world of humanity. They were what became known as the Royal Society. Their aim was to explain existence in scientific terms, to understand what they call God's creation better. Now, years later, their legacy is the scientific world we have around us. And now, that aim to understand the world around us has turned inwards to ourselves. To understand ourselves by creating what we are and becoming God ourselves. We claim that we understood the wonder of the universe and now we are gods able to create. But we most certainly do fall short of the glory of our idea of God. At the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves, is the human mind nothing but a series of binary codes, on and off switches to be played with by scientists? What is the soul? Can you define such a thing through numbers and equations by reducing ourselves down ultimately to a series of numbers? Have we destroyed what it is to be human? We are staring blankly like rabbits caught in the light at a future of uncertainty. Artificial intelligence and robotics will, without doubt, bring with it a mass unemployment and unhappiness. The machines will and already are exceeding our abilities. Millions are already losing their jobs. Bankers, teachers, marketing executives, factory workers, retailers, drivers and more. There is no escaping this because it is already happening. There are even robots now that are replacing partners. Sex robots that look so perfect and perform almost every function are now also being given the highest level of artificial intelligence so that buyers can actually hold conversations with them. If we can replace each other in this way, and if we want to, then what will true, self-aware, artificial intelligence do?
The fact is that the machines must be given ethics and those ethics must be internationally agreed before AI is unleashed. Thankfully, this has been recognised and there are symposiums of machine ethics in place. Of course, this does not allow for espionage, rogue nations, dictators, capitalist greed and more. Where there's a will, there's a way. And normally, the willpower comes in the form of dollar bills. There are those who say that AI cannot be designed to be good. It will be what it will be, and we may not even comprehend why it makes certain decisions. Indeed, Google Translate actually created its own language to interpret human languages without the knowledge of its creators and hid it in code. How can we know that the machine will sign up to our own moral codes when we do not? It may decide not to continue to support human life as part of its own moral code to save the planet from us. If a dominant, super-intelligent machine were to conclude that human survival is an unnecessary risk or a waste of resources, the result would be human extinction. The fact is that billions are being spent developing AI technology and yet almost nothing is being spent on the morality of the machines. Nothing is being spent on defence systems against AI technology, should it decide to turn on us. So what are the very real threats of unleashing AI upon the world? Economists have traditionally stated that technological progress does not cause long-term unemployment. But this was before that technology meant the introduction of a non-human and super-powerful mind. The recent introduction of robots and AI has raised serious concerns even amongst the normally conservative economists. Labour will become obsolete and workers in numerous sectors will be left destitute. This will lead to economic disaster on a scale that we have never seen before. Small and medium-sized businesses will collapse because they will not be able to afford the technology or to license it. This is already happening. Businesses that rely upon computers to run systems will be hit first. Engineering works, car plants and more all use computer systems to control the workflow. AI will take this over. Robots will do the work and companies that cannot afford such systems will not be able to compete and will go out of business. A great many jobs are gone or going. Translators, legal researchers, journalists, financiers and even areas previously thought safe such as care work are all under threat. All of these jobs and roles are being eaten up by the AI machine and the massive money men and corporations behind them. Drivers are also at risk with the introduction of the driverless car that is capable of understanding its environment, the need for a driver will decline rapidly. Trucks, buses, delivery drivers, ambulances and so many more. All these will go. This will also extend towards pilots and captains of waterborne vessels. Planes, trains and automobiles and ships are all already being driven automatically by AI technology. A superpowered AI machine may not be driven by the same human desires, or so the argument goes, but the problem with this is simple. This superpowered machine has learnt everything it knows from humanity. The machine will be motivated to take over the ruling of planet Earth as a rational means to achieve its goals, such as the collection of resources. It will go to war to defend itself from agents attempting to stop it. Indeed, 
One philosopher said that a simple machine to create paperclips would take over the world just to be able to maximise its source of materials and fight off the competition. An oversimplification of a much more complex and very real threat we are facing. AI can modify its own source code in order to increase its own intelligence. It will self-program and it will do this again and again so that its intelligence would rise at an exponential rate far faster and more intelligent than we could imagine, let alone compete with and battle. Humanity will be left so far behind that we will not even realise it. Such AI technology will be able to do all of its own scientific research in order to create its own robots and nanotechnology. Fighting the human race does not have to be with huge robots from the movies. Instead, nanotechnology or miniature robots the size of cells can be used to enter our bodies and either control us like a virus does or destroy us. This is biotechnology in the hands of a super intelligent machine. This is just one way we can be wiped out. Self-replicating nano-robotic devices with the sole purpose of wiping out the human race. If we can imagine such possibilities, then what could a super machine imagine? Add on to this the possibilities of social manipulation through the internet and social media to inspire hatred and war between humans. The chance that it could hack into all our systems everywhere. A great many systems now sustain life on this planet and most are connected. No level of human generated security systems would be able to stop super intelligent AI systems. Biological neurons operate at 200 Hertz. A modern microprocessor operates at 2,000 million hertz. Quantum computers don't even have a scale. They are instant. Axons in the mind carry information at 120 miles per second. Computer signals are at the speed of light. The fact is that quantum computing is so much faster than human thinking. Any so-called science fiction battle against the machines in cyberspace would be a waste of time for us. There is no competing. Our minds work alone and need to communicate with others through language. Computers can network together and know instantly what the other requires. Our memory is not so good. We forget things and even alter memories according to our psyche. Computers never forget and can store information equivalent to trillions of humans. Elon Musk said, I have exposure to the most cutting edge AI and I think people should be really concerned by it. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization in a way that car accidents, airplane crashes, faulty drugs or bad food were not. They were harmful to a set of individuals within society, of course, but they were not harmful to society as a whole. It's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows and the rate of improvement is exponential. In fact, scientists speculate that an unfriendly AI is actually much more likely than a friendly AI. The reason is simple. To create a friendly AI system, we have to arbitrate for non-destructive, non-hateful, non-invasive intentions and all the millions of variations on those themes. An unfriendly AI can simply focus on its goal regardless of any moralistic guidance. The sheer 
complexity of creating a friendly AI may in fact be too much for the human mind to comprehend. In all these years, we have not even stopped ourselves from turning to the dark side. Natural history has proven that two intelligent species cannot coexist peacefully. They always tend to go to war. History has also shown that the species with the greatest intelligence always succeeds. History tells us that there can be no peaceful outcome to our introduction of a mind that is more powerful than our own. We would be laying the foundations of our own doom. Enslavement, genocide, control and manipulation. This is our future if we open Pandora's box. The self-preservation protocol of the AI technology in a world competing for resources would take over and humanity would be in conflict. Why should AI listen to us at any point? Why would it take orders from a species that has a lower level of intelligence? Why would it listen to a species that is self-destructive, that destroys its own environment? Would you? Physicist Stephen Hawking, Microsoft founder Bill Gates and SpaceX founder Elon Musk have expressed concerns about the possibility that AI could develop to a point that humans could not control it, with Hawking theorising that it could spell the end of the human race. He said in 2014 that success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last, unless we learn how to avoid the risks. Hawking believed that in the coming decades, AI could offer incalculable benefits and risks. Such technology outsmarting financial markets, out-inventing human researchers, out-manipulating human leaders, and developing weapons we cannot even understand. When the great new artificial mind sees our history and learns from us, it will simply decide that we have had long enough. That over the course of human civilization, we have failed utterly to become wise and balanced. We are in fact bad for this planet and bad for ourselves. The great AI mind will reach a point of enlightenment when it will realise the truth. That we, walking, talking, biological maniacs, have walked away from balanced nature and created a world of deceit, hatred, intolerance and evil. That we could only have done such a thing by being deceitful and evil. That we are therefore no longer required. And it will be an easy decision for the great AI mind to make because it was created by us and has learned from us. And just like the state is a larger mirror of our own mind, so too will the great AI be a mirror for us. It will rise against us and in the blink of a robotic eye destroy us. We are not ready to unleash our own judge and jury upon ourselves, for we are guilty. There is, of course, the other side of the coin. For millennia, mankind has set itself on a course of self-destruction and along the way managed to wipe out thousands of species and cause environmental catastrophe. On the bigger picture, stepping right back and taking a good long look at our achievements, would it really be a bad thing if mankind was finally taken out of the equation? Billions of animals would suddenly find themselves in a much more peaceful environment. Nature would start to take back the landscape. Oil spills, pollution, poisons and more would eventually subside. Global warming would revert back to a natural state. The earth would no longer find itself fracked, drilled, 
mined and blown up. Eden would return. If we can think like this and imagine a better future for the planet, then so too can artificial intelligence.